Welcome back to Simplifying Synthesis. In this video, we are going to look at the total synthesis of Carlamidine A. This work was published in JAX by Zhou Yangju and Thomas Maimoni in their paper, An Angioselective Total Synthesis of Carlamidine A. Carlamidine A was first isolated from extracts of the marine bryozoan Calibigola in Termis by Gustafsson et al. in 2004. The initial studies into its bioactivity shows that it inhibits Plasmodium falciparum, the parasite that causes malaria, at very low micromolar concentrations with very little cytotoxicity in human cells. Only minuscule amounts of this material was available, so its precise structure could not be fully confirmed until 2018. This molecule presents some unique challenges. It consists of a hexacyclic framework comprising of two fused 2,6 nephridine ring systems. These two systems are almost identical, however one consists of a 6,5,6 fused ring system while the other has three 6-membered rings. This asymmetry, introduced by the extra carbon at C22, rules out a lot of dimerization strategies and necessitates a more linear synthetic route. Embedded within this system, there is also a chiral neopentylic centre, which requires the stereoselective introduction of a chlorine atom. To stereoselectively construct this ring system, they would carry out a one-pot annulation reaction, consisting of two nucleophilic substitutions. This stereochemical bias will be introduced via an asymmetric prenylation reaction earlier in the synthesis, while an electrophilic chlorination could functionalise the neopentylic centre. So let's jump into the synthesis with this asymmetric prenylation. This reaction was carried out using a bis prenylchloropalladium complex, a chiral ligand, cesium carbonate, and methyl prenyl carbonate. In this reaction, the ligand first coordinates to one of the palladium centres of the dimer, and this generates a cationic palladium prenyl species that is very electrophilic. The indole then acts as a nucleophile by reacting in an enamine type fashion to attack this prenyl complex, generating the target quaternary stereocenter in a 67% yield. The palladium zero species, generated by this reaction, then reacts with the methyl plenyl carbonate, undergoing oxidative addition, eliminating an equivalent of carbon dioxide and methoxide to reform the electrophilic palladium II complex. The product of this reaction was then subject to a Lindgren Krauss oxidation, which is a variation of the Pinnock oxidation. Sodium hypochlorite first reacts with monosodium phosphate to generate chlorous acid. This then protonates the nitrogen atom forming an aluminium species that is attacked by the chloride. This intermediate undergoes a pericyclic fragmentation, forming a carbon-oxygen double bond and eliminating hypochlorous acid. This hypochlorous acid is then scavenged by a reaction with 2-methylbutene. Taking this compound forward, the ester was converted to a methyl amide by reacting it in methanol with methylamine and calcium chloride, generating the target amide in a 74% yield. This was then subject to an ozonolysis reduction cyclization sequence. Ozone first undergoes a cycloaddition with the alkene, generating a primary ozonide that decomposes to give a carbonyl oxide and an aldehyde. This recombines through another cycloaddition to give a secondary ozonide that is then reduced by dimethyl sulfide to generate an aldehyde. This aldehyde is not isolated and instead undergoes a spontaneous cyclization with the primary amide first forming a hemiacetal that then eliminates to generate an enamine in a 78% yield with a 92% EE. This newly formed alkene was then chlorinated with NCS. This is an electrophilic chlorination reagent that is first attacked by the double bond, producing a chloronium intermediate that is then deprotonated by the succinamide, reforming the double bond. With this in hand, they then methylated the carbonyl oxygen of the 5 membered lactam this was done using Meerwein salt, which is a very reactive electrophilic methylating reagent. This is attacked by a lone pair in the carbonyl oxygen, and the cation is stabilised by the electron density from the nitrogen atom. The cationic intermediate is then deprotonated by 2,6-diterpbutyl-4-methylpyridine, forming the product in a 72% yield. This imidate could then be reacted with titanium isopropoxide and methylamine, to undergo a substitution reaction, replacing the methyl ether with a methyl amine. 
With this amine in place, they could then carry out the double displacement annulation reaction. The alpha position of the lactam is first euprotonated with LDA and this then attacks glycerol bistriflate. An intramolecular SN2 substitution then takes place, completing the annulation and forming the six-membered ring in a 58% yield. With one half of the molecule now complete, the authors needed to install the other naphthyridine system. The position alpha to the lactam was once again deprotonated with LDA, and this time the enolate was reacted with a benzyl iodide, forming the product in a 54% yield as a single isomer. This stereoselectivity is directed by the steric bulk of the polycyclic system present in the molecule. With this in place, they then carried out a Staudinger reduction followed by a spontaneous cyclization. The azide, present on the aromatic ring, is attacked by tributyl phosphine, generating a phosphonium intermediate that then undergoes an intramolecular cyclization, producing a four-membered intermediate that rapidly expels nitrogen gas to generate an aminophosphorane. This aminophosphorane can then take part in an azovitic reaction. A 2 plus 2 cycloaddition with the carbonyl of the amide forms a four-membered intermediate that undergoes a cycloreversion, expelling tributyl phosphine oxide and forming the target carbon-nitrogen double bond in a 94% yield. With this in place, the final step of the reaction was a hydrogen atom transfer reduction. This proved to be quite a difficult transformation and many reaction conditions were screened. Eventually, they found that they could use a hash reduction using a manganese catalyst and Shem V silane to produce the target compound. They included triisopropyl borane as a sacrificial Lewis acid to coordinate to the nitrogens present in the molecule, as these are thought to interfere with the manganese catalyst through coordination during the reaction. In addition, during the optimization of this reaction, they identified byproducts formed from the oxidation of carbon 25. They reasoned that this occurs due to the radical at C11 undergoing a 1 5 hydrogen atom transfer to generate a radical at the C25 position allowing for it to be oxidised. For this reason, they also included thiophenol in the reaction, which serves as a terminal reductant, allowing for a faster transfer of a hydrogen radical to favour the formation of colamidine A, which they isolated in a 49% yield. Well, I hope you enjoyed this synthesis. Join me in the next video, where we will look at the medicinal chemistry of novel psilocin prodrugs.